Hi, my name is Sally Whiney, and I'm here today to show you the best kept secret in Southport. It's the old Southport Village Shops. It's located at 1102 North Howe Street, Southport, North Carolina. Come with me on the Christmas tour of Old Southport Village. Old Southport Village, founded 1102 North Howe Street, Southport, North Carolina, has 11 shops and a great restaurant in the front called Castaways. We'd like to give you a tour of some of the shops and invite you to stop by this Christmas season to shop with us. Some of the stores listed on this sign out front are Carolina Crush Water Ice and Whiny Bears. We also have a great bakery called Flip Flop Bakery. The sign out front you'll see also. Come with me to the old Southport Village shops. The shop owners here in the village of Southport are getting ready to decorate for the Christmas. We have an upcoming Charles Dickens Christmas event in Southport, and we want to welcome you all to stop by. Now on your way down to Southport, don't forget to stop by Southport Villages. There's 11 shops. We have bakeries, we have gifts, we have wreaths, we have Christmas things. This is our old carriage, this is a doctor's carriage, because of course Whiny Bears is located right here on the end on 1102 North Howe Street. This is the outside coming around to Whiny Bears and to the entrance to our village. When you come in this entrance of Old Southport Village, you might find some unusual things in the trees. If you go into Whiny Bears and tell them how many bears you saw on a tree, there might be something special there for you. We have many handmade gifts, a lot of teddy bears, hats to keep you warm, and candles to light your way through the evening. Let's take a look inside Whiny Bears. Oh my goodness, Sally, you're ready for Christmas. It's so nice to see your tree with all the bears. These bears are handmade. Sally's been making teddy bears for 30 years. She's handmade over 20,000 bears. When you stop into Whiny Bears, you will be so surprised and have an enjoyable time. There Sally will be handcrafting teddy bears, repairing stuffed animals from children and adults all over the world. You might even find her taking an old coat or quilt and making it into a keepsake for the grandchildren to come. During the summer, Whiny Bears also teaches teddy bear classes on how to make a collectible teddy bear. We hope you stop and visit us throughout the year. Here's Sally's workshop. There's Sally's sewing machine. Sally's used that sewing machine for 30 years. However, the machine is from 1886. Stop by and talk to Sally and see the love that she loves to put into her bears. Next door to Sally's shop is Flip Flop Bakery. Flip Flop Bakery has been open for two months now and Kimberly who is the caretaker of the bakery, is probably in here cooking up a batch of brew. Where's some great bread. smell that bread. Oh my gosh, as the door opens and we enter to meet Kimberly. Hi, Sally. Hi, Kimberly. Oh my gosh, look at those cupcakes. The cupcakes are just one of the many specialties that Kimberly comes up with, always creating new and exciting ideas for your taste buds. Here's some lovely gifts, Kimberly. These are pre-packaged goodies to make at home. Boy, they would make great gifts for teachers, for the kids to give their teachers. Yes, they're very popular. You know what else would I think would be awesome? Is like moms could give these to their kids and then help them bake them through the holiday season. That sounds like fun. Doesn't it? Oh my gosh, Kimberly, I'm seeing something here that I know I love. Chocolate chip cookies. How many different cookies do you think you're going to have available over the Christmas holiday? Well, at least a couple dozen different variety. What's your favorite? My favorite is the oatmeal raisin. Me too. Chocolate chip go too fast. <laughs> That's true. I at my house. 
Well, Kimberly, these breads are awesome. And I understand that you have different breads that come out weekly, daily, actually. Yes, so, I bake fresh every day. And people can find that advertisement with the times and the types of breads that will be available. Yes, in section the, B. Section B at the pilot. On your scones, oh my gosh, I know every time I come in here, they're gone. So we got a picture of the scones before the people, the scone people came. <laughs> <laughs> so beware of the scone people. Well, Kimberly, I'm taking some pictures of the different shops, and it's almost like the before. We don't have the Christmas decorations up yet, but we're going to be doing that. So this is the before picture. So after after we get everything decorated, we'll probably talk to you again. Okay? Sounds fabulous. Nice Thank to you, see you, and I'll let your bread rise. Thank you. Caroline is in here right now. She's up at the North Pole getting some new ice cream and ices for the summer. But if you stop by this weekend, she'll be here. Debbie's Hair Salon is our local women's hair salon. Debbie is so well known and her work is so amazing that at this time she can't take on new customers. But I'm sure if you stop by and talk to her, she'll put you on her list. This is our local photo shop by Mary Ann. It's called OSP. Mary Ann isn't in right now, but she's getting ready to take Christmas pictures with Santa. So if you have the need for a Christmas picture, please stop by and talk to Mary Ann. Here are some of our Christmas decorations. I'll show you the after. You're seeing pretty much the before. Some of the things are, are up already. This is called Tween, Tween Wind and Water and Jean she's the sole proprietor here she has treasures from the seas and gifts from the heart this is a most interesting santa wreath that she has on her door she's entered in several contests and we hope to hear back that she won shortly jean is also new to the community but her talents far outweigh it is just something we needed here so badly look at these beautiful decorations her heart and soul is in each one of these Let's stop inside and see what Jean's up to now. Jean, hi. It's Sally from the <laughs> Teddy Bear Shop. Sally? Good. I'm I'm stopping in. This is sort of like the before we are all ready for Christmas. All, all of us working in our little shops to bring Christmas to our town. And I was just talking about your beautiful work outside. Do you have want to tell us about some of your stuff in here? What is this? Those are tutus. Tutus. Those are fabric tutus. They'd be great gifts for the kids for Christmas. They love them. They wear them over leggings. They wear them over their bathing suits in the summertime. Oh my gosh. And I see beautiful bows for their hairs. Is This is definitely a girly shop. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I like the glitter fairy. And all of these are handmade. <laughs> Most things are handmade. And originals. Oh my gosh. Is this Most the tree? Things. Is this the tree I was talking about that's going to be entered into the contest? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we got to that's see it before it went. I don't know if it's finished yet. Um, I might add more. You're going to have some of these trees available here in your shop, too? If people need them, can they order them? If that yes, ma'am. Well, yes, if this is the winner, you're going to have everybody wanting this one. That would be really, <laughs> really nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, but well, your shop doesn't even... I'm out there saying this is the before, and then we're going to have the after, but you are already there. Oh, the I'm scarves. Hoping. I have been seeing the ladies walking around town with these scarves on. They are the hit. It's so fun to see them come in the shop and be throwing them over their shoulders. I just, I just bought this. Some, I just got some new ones in. I got silk ones in. Um, they're in a basket over there. All these quilts are hand sewn and hand pieced by an 87 year old lady. Oh my gosh, these quilts back here, All right here? All these quilts in the big king size back here. Oh, let here, me show you as that As well one. as the granny doll and the Humpty Dumpty. Oh, aren't they adorable? I saw something over here too. Let me just put close up on that um, Humpty Dumpty. He's hiding, there he is. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty, stay on the wall. Isn't that sweet? That is adorable. I think that is the cutest thing. Now listen, over here I see something too that, um, I know these women that do this, this work. The, oh yeah, she's great. The uh, napkins? Mm-hmm. Yep, they, get, they did the napkins, Judy? the tablecloths, and the pillows. Oh my gosh. And there's a couple of table toppers there as well. Oh my goodness. What unique gifts you have here. These are like one of a kind that can hardly, well I don't even know where you find think them. So. They are so unique. You have such a nice setup here. 
Well, I just want to remind everybody that when they're downtown shopping this year, make sure that you stop before downtown at 1102 North Howe Street at the old Southport Village Shops. Best kept secret in Southport. <laughs> thank you so much, Jean, and oh, we look forward you. to seeing you shortly. Oh my gosh, Jean, on my way out, I just noticed the sugar pop. Sugar pop, I can't even say it. Christmas wreath. That, that is Christmas. adorable. Is that one of a kind? Oh, yes. Oh my Every, gosh. All of them are one of a kind. Everybody, hurry up, come down and yep. get your one of a kind wreaths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the main focal point of our unique village is the general store and I'm <laughs> coming up now this is Val she's the manager of the general store here in Old Southport Village how you doing today I'm good how about yourself I'm great I'm taking pictures of the before and after so we're gonna get because we have this big event coming and you know that Dickinson um, Christmas show so we want to be all ready for Christmas so this is actually like just introducing us and then we're gonna show the before and the after. So here's the after the pumpkins. <laughs> we're getting all the pumpkins together and we're changing up to our Christmas decorations. So as you see, Val has all her stuff out. She's getting ready to work hard. I got to go inside. I'm going to go inside? Mm -hmm. You think you got some stuff done and ready uh, in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go inside the general store at Old Southport Village. Come along with me. Oh my gosh. What a unique place. You don't see stores like this today. Do I see chestnuts? For roasting by the open fire and all the decorations are getting out. Val has the most amazing soaps. They are just so soothing to the skin. Oh, and here's Val's little village. This is a beautiful village. Now you would miss all this if you didn't stop by Old Southport Village. It's 1102 North Howe Street. We've got, oh my gosh, old fashioned candy sticks. Oh, you can pick out whatever flavor you want. What a great stuffing, stocking stuffer. Of course, I haven't said that right. And oh, look at her little back room. She is all ready for her guests. Now, if you're looking for something very special as a gift, Val has a, a large variety of jellies and jams and canned fruits and vegetables. She also has awesome sauces for your salad and for your steaks got the best barbecue sauce around my goodness you can get a lot of Christmas shopping done in this one little place Val's gonna show us her village this is her, her Christmas village I'm gonna get just gonna be a little bit of a close-up if I can figure that out look at the light going off on that is that one cabin there yours a re resemblance of yours there with the little lights going off and on that is so cute. I don't know what, what to do with. Well, Val, we look forward to um, shopping here with. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I just missed one more thing. Look at these beautiful wooden bowls, hand carved. But the, the apples are real. The apples are real. <laughs> yes, because out front, also, which we're going to take a quick run out front, we have a fresh fruit stand, and there'll be all kinds of fresh fruits for you mm -mm. this weekend. Mm -mm. No, we're not going to have it this weekend. No, I won't have any fruits or vegetables. Oh, either. we won't have any fruits or vegetables this weekend, but we'll look forward to them in the summer. Right. You can also get an old soda pop here. Old flavors, the root beer and ginger. That ginger, that's really hot. Well, <laughs> some it of it is. Keeps you warm. <laughs> well, thanks, Val. You're welcome. And um, we'll be checking back with you in a couple days to see how all the decorating is coming along. Okay. Bye. Bye. Another unique things that are located here at the old South Park Village is this old gasoline pump. This is right outside the front door. And then we have the wheel, the water wheel. This is what a lot of people stop to see. It is viewable from the from the road. It's right after the uh, kangaroo gas station. Right behind there you'll see the beautiful water wheel. Well, as we come to the um, end of our tour of the village, I'm just going to take you out front at the other entrance. See, we have like a circle. It goes around the restaurant here. So you can enter at two locations. Now remember, as you're coming into Southport Village, 
to turn into old Southport Village shops. It'll be on your left at 1102 North House Street. As you see here, this is Castaway's Keys restaurant that is now under new management. Stop in and have a great breakfast. And again, we'll look forward to seeing the Christmas decorations that should be up within the next couple days. So keep your eye out for updates on Old Southport Village. Come again. Oh my gosh, I just stopped back in to see Kimberly and guess what she's doing? She's creating masterpieces. Now I know these are not baked yet, but I thought you might like to see the before and after. I'm a big before and after person. So I'm going to let Kimberly go back to her artistic design. Kimberly, what are they called? What's the name of it? These are stuffed crusty loaves. Stuffed crusty loaves. And this is an extra sharp cheddar cheese. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how am I long before I need to come back to... I'm really going to take a picture. I'm not going to eat them. Picture, picture. An hour. We will be back in one hour to see what comes out of that oven. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. Hi, right, we're back in Flip Flop Bakery with Kimberly to see the outcome of the Cheesy Puffs. <laughs> What's the real name? They're Crusty Cheesy Breads. Crusty Cheesy Breads. Oh, my gosh. Can you smell them? Absolutely. Oh, it's too bad for you guys. <laughs>